Okay, so it's an invasion. You 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 you're speaking about points that um affect all of us as United States citizens. In your opinion, why are the borders open to begin with? Uh, for for some time, the borders were shut down because of COVID. Um, earlier this year, they were reopened. Why not just shut it down completely and build this wall and do away with all of the illegal uh, migrants, if you will, um, that are coming into this? Or, or and I don't want to the, the, the migrants. I assume are legal. Um, but all of the illegal border jumpers that are coming into this country. Now, that's a very hard question you just posed on me. The only reason that I think that the borders are remaining open and remain open to this day, even though the mayor of New York and everybody is complaining about we're being inundated, we can't handle all these illegals. The only reason that I can think of, and I don't know, is that somebody on this side is benefiting financially and is in cahoots with the cartels. Somebody. Why don't they shut it down? That's I wonder too, Sean. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope somebody on this side isn't being greased heavily by the cartel to keep it open. And I will again say, I don't know. But knowing corruption and heavy corruption, I have to highly suspect that somebody's getting money on this side. Yeah, I mean, um, the, 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 the border remains one of the, the top um, issues with all of the candidates who are running. We, we, we're in a season where uh, everyone is, is running or campaigning to become the next president of the United States. Um, there was just a, a uh, debate um, between the, the Republican Party wannabes for next president. Th that, that's an issue that affects us all. And I really can't understand until we get our hand around this thing, until we can figure out how to get this country stabilized, why not just shut it down? I, I understand that, that immigrants uh, help build this country, but it's so far beyond that. And we have tens of thousands of illegals coming into the country every day. You just mentioned 85,000 illegal children that entered into this country and they're never heard of again. This is a problem. It is. And I, and I don't care which side of the aisle that you sit on, whether you're Democrat, uh, Republican, Independent, I, I, I think we all as human beings have to know this is a problem. And how do we wrap our hands around this thing and if it takes shutting it down for a little while, I just don't understand why is that not the approach. So, and I would hate uh, to your point to think that somebody on this side of the border is in uh, partnership in any way with the cartels and is being greased. But I guess that would be naive thinking on my part to assume that it's not happening. You have to suspect that at least. You have to suspect that. Why? I, I'm like you. What is it going to take to shut the border down? They all talk about it, but it doesn't get done. We have Democrats that are shouting, shut the border down. And we have Republicans saying it, both. but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. That is what, uh, what, 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 what worry, should worry us that this is continue to happen. And think about it. How many Taliban are coming through there? How many terrorists are coming through there? Forget the drug dealers. What about our enemies coming in through, through that porous uh, border? How many do we have in this country now? When are, they gonna, when are we going to start um, uh, suffering from, from people blowing people up over here? What do you call it? Suicide bombers and all that stuff. I worry about that kind of stuff. And I know they're coming in. They're coming in, Sean. Our enemies are coming in. And nobody seems to care. Yeah, they talk about it. You know, they, we should shut it down. Why don't you just shut it down? 
and I know a lot of citizens are are, are basically tired of it. Yeah, I, it's I'm tired. It's of a it. problem that affects us all. It does, um, and it seems to be no solution. A lot of talk, but no real solution. Um, and, and you know, it's heartbreaking to think that is correct. You know, right? I, I, the cartels, the, the cartels, the cartels. The cartels are going to remain very powerful in Mexico until we declare them terrorist organizations. Because until Congress declares them terrorist organizations, we cannot go in. Once they become terrorist organizations and are declared so by our Congress, then we can go in on Mexico and say, okay, uh, President of Mexico, you don't want to cooperate with us? They are killing our people. We're going to come in, step aside, and we're going to go after them. And until we do, we have the laws and the means of doing this, Sean, but they don't do it. They just talk about it. We should declare the Mexican cartels. Just do it. Get into it and vote it in. Then we, 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 we very nicely go to the Mexican government and say, are you going to, are you going to be with us or against us? Because we're coming in. We're done. We've had it with all the illegals they're sending in. Making billions. Think of the money they're making. Billions. and they were, They're so powerful. They, Jesus, they made over $50 billion last year. The cartels estimated they made over $50 billion. The cartels did. More than the U.S. budget, dude. More than our government. Okay? They brought in $50 billion. That's why they can buy anybody, not only in Mexico, in other countries, too. But until... We can go to Mexico and say, we're done. We've had it. You don't want to do anything about it. We hate to violate your sovereignty, but we're done. We're coming in and we're taking them out. Please join us. Please help us. Jump on our side, Mexican government. Let's go take them out. But that is another thing that's talked about and talked about, but it's not done. These, 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 these cartels, believe me, they instill fear in everybody. Every, they, they get their enemies, they, they decapitate them, they dismember them, they cut their fingers off, they castrate them, they burn them to death, and then they expose the bodies in parks and plazas so that the local populace and everybody can see. That's why they fear them so much. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.